you publish all of your websites or all of your uh, workouts on your website. Yeah. Do you have them written down before you go into the gym or is that something you write down after? And so you're like, a lot this of is people, what I did. It was yeah. awesome. What's funny is a lot of people ask, they go, what the hell do you do for work that you're able to do like all this? Because a lot of people post stuff up on Instagram and it's kind of biceps and then it's them doing a bicep exercise. It's very short. You mentioned that mm-hmm. earlier. I yes. break stuff down. So I have a full-time job outside of this and I usually train about seven or six or so in the morning mm-hmm. and I have all my captions, all my videos and everything filmed before I even leave the gym. Mm-hmm. So when I go to work throughout the day, all I have to do is upload them and they're done. Mm-hmm. So people think I'm like, you know, dicking around on my phone while I'm at work. It's like, dude, I take, I go <laughs> take a pee Mm -hmm. upload my stuff and it's up there for you guys to look at and I'm going back to work. Mm -hmm. So it's not some 24 seven thing. It's, it's all done before most people get out of bed. Mm -hmm. And are are your workouts planned out in your mind the second you stepped into the gym? No. And that's kind of the concept where I don't want my actual exercises that I do. I might walk in there and say, I want to put a little more emphasis on my chest today or upper chest. I mean, Mm -hmm. or I might want to put a little more emphasis on the long head of my tricep or short head of my tricep or something like that. But usually when I go into the gym, it's the sets and reps uh, that are completely mapped out. Mm-hmm. So I could say, I'm going to do four sets of eight today. I'm going to do an eight, six, four, four, uh, exercise. I'm going to do three sets of 40 mm-hmm. reps mm-hmm. Uh, and then do a compound set. Mm-hmm. And I have those reps. Let's say I walk in there and I really want to do skull crushers. Everybody's over there doing those. All right, we're doing double arm overhead right. with those reps. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I hit those reps for whatever I want to do them on. Mm-hmm. And that's where the variety can come in and be plugged in wherever you want. That's cool. Yeah, that seems like that could that's yeah. a sustainable approach. Yeah. For as precise as you are, that's a very kind of go with the flow way yeah. of approaching it. Yeah, because I think the most important comment. part is the reps. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People think that, you know, the exercise for I'm doing those exercises to benefit myself. Mm-hmm. What if the guy looking at the video has an incredible chest and you don't need to do something that's going to help you work on your mind muscle connection because yours is great. Right. You don't need to do it. Mm-hmm. But when I do everything that I do at the gym, that's to benefit myself, but those rep ranges are what can help you. So if you don't like, you know, the Smith machine sissy squats with your knees over the toes, don't do it, but apply those reps for something else. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And still try to feel it. Like there's, the, you're, it seems like you're chasing the feeling that mind muscle oh, yeah. connection is so central to what it's you're doing. More, uh, there's actually people out there that say that it's not a thing. Mm-hmm. And what just, people? Uh, you know what? I've heard of hurt few people. people. Yeah. <laughs> people yeah. Hurt. Well, if I find them, just kidding. But yeah, it's funny because I've actually heard a lot of people say that it's a myth. And I don't know if that's some ploy to like discredit somebody. But right. even if the mind muscle connection is not a scientifically proven thing, mm-hmm. I think that it's 100% relevant in bodybuilding because I can't tell you how many times I've done an exercise and not felt it in the primary work muscle. Mm-hmm. Bench pressing and you don't feel your chest contracting, but your your front delts or your triceps are burning. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. you don't have a good mind muscle connection. Right. Mm-hmm. Your chest should be working on bench. If you're squ- if you're doing uh, leg extensions and you're feeling like God like God forbid like feeling in your arms or something like that, that's supposed to be for your quads. Right. You don't have a good mind muscle connection, mm-hmm. and that's what people don't get. Sure. Yeah. I feel like that's one thing that that working here and and talking to people on the podcast has taught me as well is like. The mind muscle connection is kind of the it's the great export from bodybuilding to the rest of the training world mm-hmm. to say like you want to know what proper form is proper form is feeling it in the right place and being able yeah. to control yourself yeah. otherwise you have no control over the movement and you're just begging to get injured at some point yeah. or another yeah, yeah.